Howdy, Bart here, and welcome back. Alright, so, quick revamp of previous video. Alright, we've come over here, and we are in regular third-person view. We can hit V, change to first-person view. Lovely. Grab the pistol, it goes onto our hip. Grab the AK, it goes to our back, and everything is still good to go. Come over here and grab the MP5, and for now we have it set to automatically go into our hands and automatically switch us into the rifle animation, our rifle hip animation blueprint. So we haven't set up jump yet, so we, we do have some stuttering with our animation blueprint, but I'll show you how to fix that later, um, just to kind of smooth it out. So let's go ahead and proceed. We need to go ahead and create the basic pistol animation blueprint and pistol um, bl blend space. So let's start with the blend space since we'll need it first. We'll come over here, just right click, select animation, and blend space. We're going to use the UE4 mannequin skeleton. And we're going to go ahead and call this pistol underscore BS. And we'll go into that and we need to find anything that says pistol. And we don't have a heck of a lot. We got idle pistol, so we'll grab that and we'll put that on all five spaces on the bottom. Now, what this is doing is this is going to only have one basic animation is you're holding the pistol in aiming fashion. Well, that's not going to do us a heck of a lot of good, so we need to have something happen when we start walking and when we start running. And since um, we're not a bunch of ninja special forces, operator, ninja, SWAT, whatever, we're not going to be shooting and aiming while we're, we're moving. So let's go ahead and just take the pistol back out of here, and we will just do regular walk animations. So we need to look for, let's see here, those are all rifle, that's crouch stuff, we don't need those. We just have third person and walk. So I'm actually going to take all of that back out again and I guess all we really have that can be a normal walk is probably just that, the third person walk. When we know when we want to um, hmm. we'll worry about reload animations later. So we just kind of have to scroll through until we find a st the standard walk and run animations. So we're going to grab the third person walk, set it in the middle, third person run up here. Now this is really not all that ideal. So we go from when we're not moving at all, if we start walking we're going to lower the pistol. The pistol will still stay in our hands, but when we go to run we won't be able to aim the pistol until we are, you know, stopped. And we can work on something else later for that, but we're just working with what we have, so this will be good enough for now. So, what we're going to have to do again was, and here comes my, my fun dyslexia. So, Direction, negative 180, 180, and speed, 600, which is the, the normal max speed here. So, we got everything set up. Yeah, it, it, it'll be good enough for now. We'll come up with a better way, or we'll make some custom animations. There's a lot of different ways of actually doing this, but... 
what we'll end up doing is setting to where the only way you can shoot your pistols when you're stopped aiming. Um, eventually we'll have it to where there's a walk with aim and run with aim or maybe even just a walk only. So it'll it'll tell what your speed is and allow you to go from there. So let's just go ahead and save that. This will get us by. And we need to go ahead and create the pistol animation blueprint. So we're going to right click again, go to animation, animation blueprint. We're going to select the UE4 mannequin skeleton and there we go. And we're going to call this pistol underscore anim bp so we know that is our pistol animation blueprint now to help guide this along I'm gonna go ahead and open up our rifle one as well so we have both of them in here and from this we know that we need to drag off from the result in the final animation pose and we need to add a new state machine and you can call this something different if you want. Uh, I haven't seen where it makes a big difference. Pistol states, it doesn't really matter. Then go ahead and double click on this. And again, we're going to go ahead and set up a new state. We're going to call this idle. And then we're going to go ahead and double click on that. Drag off from this and we can just type in we're going to want to use a walk animation or actually an idle animation so let's type in pistol if we don't have a spell play idle pistol so when we're idle it's going to go ahead and put us in the idle pistol animation and then I'm going to go ahead and compile save and now you can see on the top left corner that he's not moving so he's gonna default to the the hands raised and aiming mode so to speak alright we'll click right there to bring us back to this and we're gonna go ahead and create a new state we're gonna call this walk run we're going to drag an arrow back over to there. And we don't already have the, um, the variable set up. So I'm going to go ahead and compile and save. We're going to get a couple errors right here because we haven't set those yet. We're going to go back to the event graph. And you see it is empty. The only thing we have is event blueprint update animation. Try get pawn owner. So this is where we can make it a little bit easier. We can go ahead and grab the information from here because we already have is in air we need to go ahead and make that variable so we know it is capital I on both capital A and a question mark at the end so we'll come over here we'll create a new variable is in air question mark good to go go ahead and compile save we've got the same two errors and now all we have to do is grab everything else. Now we can go ahead and set up these two floats if we want, which might not be a bad idea, but I'm going to go ahead and copy these. I'm just going to highlight them. I'm going to hit Control plus the C key to copy it. And then speed and direction are our two float variables that we need. So we create a variable speed we'll hit enter we'll change it to a float new variable we're going to call that direction now in theory it should work but I'm going to go ahead and delete them and create them inside the states So to go from idle to walk run, we want to drag off from here and we want to use the pistol blend space. We could actually just drag the pistol BS to right here. Actually, no, we don't. Um,
Sorry, I have not been feeling all that great today. Yeah. And I'm just having some, some issues. We need to go into that. That's where I'm screwing up here. Um, go into this. And from the results from that, we need to grab our pistol blend space. Why did you put it way over there? Alright, so after we've drugged that out from there, you'll see that it has direction and speed. These are what's coming from the blend space. So I'm going to drag out from there, let go, and click promote to variable. And we're going to call that direction. We're going to drag out from speed, promote to variable, and call it speed. So now we have our two variables that we need. And again, we can compile and save, and we're going to get those same errors again. It's not a big deal. So we can now come back to our event graph. And since we did a couple things, let's make sure we got it again. We're going to Control C, and remember, you're going to have to drag the return value off to one, two, three four different locations. So now that we've got that in here, we can drag them a little bit closer. We'll go ahead and link this off to here so we can get it lined up and getting it looking absolutely awesome. We need to connect our return value from try get pawn owner to here, here, and here. So that's to is valid, get actor rotation, and get velocity, and then we need to drag it off one more time to get movement component, and that should be it. So we compile, save, and now we can fix these um, errors here. So we'll go back to our walk run state, click on pistols, and what we need to do here is we're going from idle to walk run, and we need to figure out how to get it to be able to enter that. So if you look again, as a reference, going from idle to walk run, what we did was this. So we can actually just copy it, control C, control V, and then link it together. Lovely. And then we can go from here, back to the pistol states, go to the, the bottom arrow, and the same thing here, and we can copy and paste. What this is saying is, if your speed is less than 10, you can enter in the transition, or into the uh, the animation. And the other one was if it's above 10. So this clears up our errors, and now we have a pistol animation blueprint and blend space. So here's where we can go back to our player base, and for now, we're going to go ahead and delete that from the MP5. And you can see how we have this down here. We want to come back over to the Glock picked up. Look at our weapons. We're going to Alt, left click, not rifle, but we want pistol equipped. We're going to drag it into here. We're going to set pistol equipped. We're going to add another pin to our sequencer. Starting to look lovely down here, doesn't it? So we're going to go ahead and get a branch. Connect pin number four down to this branch. We're going to want to get or control, left click, drag, drop, however you wish to do it. Get pistol equipped. If pistol equipped is true, then we need to left click on mesh and then set anim instance class and we're going to go ahead and connect that up to true line it up change the class to pistol animation blueprint 
So now it's going to detect if we have a rifle equipped, it's going to automatically change our animation. If we have a pistol equipped, it's going to change our animation. Now we're going to have to do a couple things before we can actually test that. So we've already told it to equip the pistol that way. Um, but here's what we're going to have to do is we're going to go back over to our MP5 picked and we have it going to our main hand. We want this to return to slot 1. So now when we go to pick up the MP5 it's going to automatically go to our back. And right now when we pick up the pistol it's automatically going to go to our holster position. So for now what we want to do is go to G17 picked just to, to test all this out and we're going to go over here and change the socket name over to main underscore hand. We're going to compile. We are going to save. We're going to close and we're going to test. So we grab the AK it goes right to our back. We're still in our regular unarmed melee mode. MB5 now goes back to our back and Wow, all right, awesome. We can see that the pistol, it, it, it's working. However, we see that the pistol is hovering quite a bit in front of our face. We go to start walking. When we stop, it automatically goes back to the aiming mode. Let's go back to here. So we need to change the position of the pistol, and that's not a big deal. Um, you see, our hands don't move whenever we aim. That's going to be something that's tricky, but easy enough to fix. So we want to be able to aim up and down, left and right, and we want the pistol to, to go with where we're aiming. Um, it's a pain in the butt, but it's worth it in the long run. But for now, let's go ahead and fix the pistol, and we'll get prepped and ready for the weapon switching itself. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Escape. And now, where do we want to change the, the aspect of when we change our, our, our pistol? We have to get it to, to move to the correct position. So let's go look at our gun folder, our Glock blueprint folder, our G17 blueprint. And if we go into here, go into our viewport, we can attempt to try to move it here. So we need to move the weapon down just a little bit and back a little bit. And now we have it in this view here. It's going to be kind of hard to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that going. I'm going to hit play. And I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to grab the, uh, the pistol. I can see already that it's a little bit better. We're going to hit Shift F1 to get our mouse cursor back. And while we've got this window open here, I want to go ahead and I'm going to slide it back and I'm going to slide it down. And it looks like it's aimed a little high, so what we can try doing also is we'll go to the rotation mode. We're going to rotate it just a little bit. You may have to turn your snapping off to get it to get just right. But that looks good for me for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save on that. I'm going to click back in here. And now we can see that when we're running, it pulls the pistol down. When we stop running, it pulls the pistol back up. And it looks like we need to actually rotate it a little bit to the right as well. So I'm going to hit Shift F1. I'm going to reopen that. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and move the window out of the way just so I can go back into my viewport. I'm going to scroll in and move around. I'm actually get behind it a little bit. You can change your camera speed also, but not super important for what I'm doing for right now. Click on your weapon, make sure you've got that adjusted and I've got my snapping turned on. 
So I'm going to uncheck that. And that looks pretty good. You, you, his hands are moving around quite a bit, so it's going to change the pitch and the aim just a bit. But I think that looks pretty good overall. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And I'm going to hit exit on that. I'm going to go back into here. So now we're in our third person, our first person view. We're running around. Okay, we want to stop. We want to shoot. Bang, 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 bang. You know, again, we'll fix the hand position. Go back over here. We can see that it looks a little bit better in the hands. We start walking, we start running, then see it goes to staying in the hands. Whenever I stop, all right, cool, I'm back to aiming again. All right, so that all works. I think we're, we're getting really close now. So we're done with that, we're done with that, and we can go back into our character blueprints. Make sure we hit a save all again. Now, what we're going to want to do is, I'm going to make this bigger again. You can put it back full screen, you can do whatever you want with it, but you know, this is good enough for me for now. So we have our rifle and pistol animation swapping, and that gives us a good leg up. And I'm going to go ahead and put those into a comment group, and this is pistol and rifle animation swap. What we're going to have to do though is we forgot one and we want to go back in here for our weapons. We got pistol equipped and rifle equipped. Well, uh, let's add another one in here called unarmed. So we're going to add that to our weapons category. And we're going to want to add another pin. Again, we're going to add a branch in. I'm going to drag in and get a reference to unarmed. If it is true, and we can just left click here, left click, and control left click there, control C, control V, and let's go ahead and get it moved in position link it up together and on the class that we're looking for is third person animation blueprint so now we have it set to where if we go into an unarmed state we go back to the regular default animations and we'll save that I mean technically speaking we could have just gone false from both of these and linked them down to there, but this gives us a whole new state so that whenever we are doing our weapon switching, we can actually toggle the the one, two, and three. We need to actually drag this pin to there. So when we're doing our weapon switching, which we'll start doing in the next video, um, Compile, save. You can never compile and save too much. So in the next video, we'll be able to start doing our actual weapon swapping. And if you're watching this video tutorial just so you can learn how to switch weapons back and forth, well, sorry you had to wait this long, but I want to get you into the right frame of mind of things that you needed to have set up so that it will work. Because from now on, we're going to be right there on the weapon switching. So... To get set up for that next video, I'm going to go ahead and come over here, delete the pistol equipped. We need to go back into our G7 picked. We need to change this from main hand back to holster, which is what we had it called before. Compile, save, close that back out. So now as we go in and pick up our weapons, we are in a nothing state. Pick up the AK, goes on my back. MP5, goes on my back. Pick up the pistol, it goes on my hip. And I, I named it wrong. When you run into this problem where you type in the name wrong, you want to try to remember what you called it, you can always go back to your mannequin 
character, mesh, load up your skeleton, and what do we call our holster? I thought I called it holster. I did. H-O-L-S-T-E-R. Maybe I just spelled it wrong. H-O-L-S-T-E-R. All right, that should be right. So now, it should revert back to putting the pistol back on our hip. It is, and for some reason it's in a different location, but oh well, it'll work for now. So we're all set with everything back into its default locations of being on the hip for the pistol and the two rifles being on our back. So that'll get us set up to where when we do pick up a weapon, it doesn't automatically put it into our hands. We need to be able to manually put it there. So that's what we'll start covering in the next video. And I hope you like what I'm doing so far. You know, leave me some comments on what you think and what else we need to do here. But we'll go ahead and, and stop this video here and we'll get set up to start putting another one together. All right, thank you for watching.